Hello relatives, this is Dr. H. Welcome to this week's Schlagbite for the week, May 5th, 2008, and it's entitled The Reverend William's Love Story. One of the recipients at the recent National Caring Awards ceremony was the Reverend Cecil Williams, who was honored for his nearly half-century work at Glide Memorial Church in downtown San Francisco. I've admired the Reverend Williams since those radical 60s days when you could hear the beat of the Glide Ensemble on the sidewalks of Market Street on Sunday mornings. After his ordination as a Methodist minister, Cecil Williams was assigned to Glide, which was and still is in the middle of the Tenderloin District and a gathering place for druggies and hookers, the homeless and the chronically mentally ill. In those 60s days, Glide was losing its members more and more as people fled the inner city, and it became clear to Reverend Williams that these poor people, many on the edge of society and in grave need, desperately needed something to lift them up. So he told them the good news, that they could be loved, that they wanted to be loved, and that his church was founded on the basis of love for all. In the late 60s, the Reverend William's talk of love and brotherhood created a following of thousands. Crowds for Sunday services flowed into the street where people danced to great blues, soul, rock, and jazz by renowned musicians. He invited internationally known figures like Billy Graham and Bill Cosby and also controversial speakers like Angela Davis and the Black Panthers, but it was the music that made Glide famous. A hundred singers, often accompanied by well-known musicians, would rock the place. Glide's energy was so intense that lines of people holding hands would emerge from the sanctuary and snake into the street, singing, Start a Love Train. Several years ago, when the Reverend Williams reached mandatory retirement age for Methodist ministers, which is 70, he told him he wasn't leaving. He said his work wasn't finished and that he was having too much fun. He and Glide still sponsor youth programs, health care programs, meals for the hungry and frail. When he accepted his caring award, the Reverend Williams summed up his work by saying, if you take the risk to love fully, it will lift you up and turn you around. But first, first, you have to risk loving who you are in spite of your shortcomings, and only then can you reach out and love others. He said loving is what it's all about and that it isn't an original thought. It's an old story. Years ago, he told that story wearing a dashiki and sporting an afro. But on awards night, he was equally inspiring, telling it in a tuxedo. At the end, I walked up to the Reverend Williams and his lovely wife. I introduced myself and told him that he had been an inspiration to me since I was a young man. And he looked up and down at my tuxedo with a concho belt and a bolo tie, and he said, I knew there would be some old hippies in this crowd. And then he patted me on the shoulder and said, Love is still the answer. And so it is. Reach out and love somebody. Have a great week. For those of you interested in healing and intensifying your healing power, the only workshop I'll do on the last Mask of the Authentic Healer takes place next month here in Phoenix, Arizona. Check it out on the website. Have a wonderful week. Remember, nobody makes it alone. We're all connected. I say this for all my relations. Mitakwiasi.